let's go ahead and talk about single replacement reactions. This is a pretty common type of reaction, and a lot of the demos we've done in class have been single replacement. How do you know, first of all, it's a single replacement? Well, most of the time, if you see one element by itself, it's probably a single replacement. So in this case, right, we can see the copper, copper metal, elemental form is pretty much by itself, and it's reacting with a regular molecule here, a cation and an anion, zinc, bromide. But it was that copper by itself that was the real hint. Okay, so the first thing is we know that this is one of the five single replacement reactions. Okay, great. How do we go ahead and predict then what the uh, products are going to be? Well, we can go ahead, first of all, by putting the charges in there. So let's take a look at the charges. So. Copper, if it were an ion, now right now it has a zero charge, but if it were an ion, it probably has plus two. Sometimes copper has plus one, but for this example, let's just say plus two. And the reason why I say plus two is over here. Zinc has plus two, bromide has negative one. That's why two times negative one balances out for this. So I'm just going to guess that the copper ion is going to be a positive two. Now, it really didn't matter uh, what the charges were. What mattered was um, that both copper and zinc are positive charges. So positive and positive means that one can replace the other. It might have been that I found uh, was a negative and a negative, and then they'd replace differently. But in this case, positive replaces positive, and in other cases, negative replaces negative. So I know in my prediction that copper is going to replace that zinc there, single replacement. So this copper is going to replace zinc and bump it out. So now I get copper solid metal here, right? So it's just good old metal. And the copper, when it bumped it out, now took the place. So instead of zinc bromide, you get copper bromide. And copper, I said, was a plus two charge. Bromine was negative one, so that's copper bromide. This is a zero charge because it's copper metal. It's a solid here, right? I'm sorry, zinc solid. Uh, so it's just a metal, no charge. Okay, so that was pretty easy to figure out in a single replacement reaction. Let's go ahead and balance it like we always did. Copper, zinc, bromide, what do I got? One, one, two, and over here, one, one, two. Hey, that was easy. It's already balanced. Don't need to do any work. Sometimes you just get lucky. Let's try another example here. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Before we go ahead and do that, I wanted to uh, mention one other important thing. Uh, just because that you can write down the reaction here, so copper plus zinc bromide goes to make zinc copper bromide, doesn't mean necessarily that it really happens in the real world. If this reaction were going to happen, it means that copper must be more active than zinc. That's why it bumped it out. So copper has to be more active than zinc. So what we can do is take a look at a table here. This is what's called an activity or active series table. And let's go ahead and find our goodies on here. So copper, where the heck is copper? Oh, copper is way down at the bottom. And zinc is up here, right? So let's take a look here one more time. We said copper is going to bump out zinc. Copper would bump out zinc, but it can't bump out zinc because zinc is more active than copper. It's above it. So that reaction there does not really happen in the real world. Let's take a look at another one. Chloride gas plus magnesium bromide. I know it's probably a single replacement because the chloride gas is uh, by itself, even though it's a diatomic. Remember, have no fear of ice cold. There's that cold, chlorine, chlorine, cold beer. So that is a uh, solitary uh, element. And let's go ahead and take a look. So if it follows, Let's look at our charges. Now, chlorine, if it were an ion, would have a negative charge. And bromine has a negative ion. So in this case, we think the chlorine would bump out the bromine, not the magnesium, because it's positive. Positive bumps out positive. Negative bumps out negative. So my best guess is chlorine will bump out the bromine. Then it becomes bromine 2, because again, have no fear of ice cold beer. beer, beer. There's that BR, bromine. And the uh, magnesium is now paired up with chlorine to make magnesium chloride. Let's go ahead and balance it one more time. What do we got here? Two, one, two, two. Wow, this is too easy. This one, okay. That balances too. Really easy. One, 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 one. 
But here's our big question. Does it happen? Does it happen? If it were to happen, chlorine would have to be more active than bromine. Let's take a look at our series again. Chlorine would have to be more active. So chlorine is over here, and uh, bromine is down here, and you can see chlorine is above bromine. So yeah, it is more active than bromine. That reaction does happen also. Hey, let's go ahead and do one more, see if we know how to do this. So this is going to be a positive charge, positive 2. That's positive 1. That's negative 1. Single replacement. We assume this guy bumps out this. So we assume, therefore, you get magnesium chloride, right? Plus, now the sodium is by itself, right? Okay. Next thing we go ahead and do, let's go ahead and balance this. So Mg is plus 2. That Cl is negative 1, so we have 2 of that. That's good. Now we're going to go ahead and do the next thing. Uh, let's balance the reaction. 1 and 1, that's good. 1 and 1. Oh, 2 and, uh-oh, we need a 2 over here, right? But if you have two sodiums, we need two sodiums. So it's 1, 2, 1, 2. Great. And the last thing, the most important thing is, does this reaction happen? So if it happens, magnesium has to be more active than sodium. Magnesium is more active than sodium. Let's go back here and take a look. Is magnesium more active than sodium? Let's see. There's magnesium right there. Uh-oh, sodium is above it. Sodium is actually more active than magnesium. So we would have to go back here and say, no. No reaction, NR. This actually does not really happen.